Hi friends, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to do a cut and paste on your MacBook using the keyboard shortcuts. So I have two folders here, uh, the destination folder where I will copy or paste my files, uh, it's currently empty and the source folder where I have few files. I also have the on screen keyboard uh, so that you can see the keys I am pressing each time. So before we do a cut and paste I will quickly show you how to do a copy paste. Uh, so let's go to uh, the source folder, select one of the files and use the command C shortcut to copy the file and then go to the destination folder and do a command V which will paste the file. So this is very similar to uh, what you do on Windows machine uh, where we use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to do a copy and paste. Okay, I'll now show you how to do the cut and paste uh, using the keyboard shortcuts on your Mac. Uh, if you're switching from Windows to Macbook, uh, you might assume that uh, Command X would be the uh, keyboard shortcut for doing a cut and paste. And uh, we'll also see what the Apple website says for that. You'll see that even the website says Command X is the shortcut for uh, doing the cut and paste. Uh, but uh, let's see if that really works. I'll go back to my folders and select one of the files. This time I'm selling the cut file. I'll do a Command X. Go to the other folder and we'll do a command V. So you'll notice that it has actually pasted the copy file and not the cut file. That's because this file was there in my clipboard as part of a previous function. Uh, so it didn't really bring the cut file here. You'll see that the file still exists in the same folder. So in order to actually do a cut and paste uh, for your files or folders, what you need to do is select the file and do a command C, which is a keyboard shortcut for copy. Then go to the destination folder and this time press command option V. So this will do the job of cut and paste. You can see the cut file pasted here and in the original folder that file is removed. So why does Apple website say a command X uh, then? So this is still true, but unfortunately not applicable for the Finder application. Um, so we'll see that that command, this command X will actually work in a text editor. I'll show you a sample of that. You go back to one of my files. Okay, I have a text editor open here. I'll select a piece of text here and do a command X. You'll notice that uh, the text has been copied to the clipboard now and I'll paste it somewhere else. So it has now pasted it. So the command X and command V combination will work on a, other text uh, based applications but it's not applicable to the finder uh, where you actually manage your files. Okay that's it from me guys. Uh, thank you. I hope this video was helpful.